Hey guys, today's video is going to be about printing in AutoCAD. So based on the comments I received in my other videos, I realized that printing in AutoCAD might not be as straightforward as I thought. So this video is going to demonstrate just how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the drawing that you want to print. Alright, drawing's open. This is good. Alright, send your plot so you can see everything. And there's a couple ways that you can print in AutoCAD. The first way is you go to this output tab and you're going to see the plot icon right here. Or you can go to this drop down menu and select print from here, select plot, you're good to go. Otherwise you can just press ctrl P and it'll bring up your print menu. I believe what you guys are going to see is this small window here. So you're going to want to expand this and it's going to give you a lot more options. Before you get into any of that stuff you're going to want to select your printer, your paper size. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to this plot area section and there's going to be a drop down menu here that gives you a couple different options. So each of these gives you a different option of how to print. To see what it looks like you just have to go to this preview button down here and it'll load your preview. So as you can see the display is everything in this black screen and that includes what's behind this border back here. So that's not very helpful most of the time. So the next thing is extents. So let's see what that gives. Extents gives you the extents of your drawing, the farther outer reaches of any lines that are on your drawing. The next one is limits. So this is typically if you set limits in your drawing. I don't, so I'm not actually going to even preview this. And then window. This is the most commonly used one because you can go up here and select an actual region that you want to print. So this will allow you to print an entire document, a whole drawing, or you can go in and just select, say, this kitchen area. And it'll allow you to print just the kitchen. This is the one that I most commonly use. We can go over here and we see drawing orientation. You can select portrait or landscape, depending on how you want your drawing to fall on the paper. So a lot of questions I actually receive are about how to change the color, if you want it in black or white, monochrome. So let's see what these do. So ACAD. So ACAD will print all of these with the colors of the layers shown in your drawing. So let's preview that and see what it looks like. So as you can see this is kind of helpful if you have colors in your drawing, however most of the time we're not going to be using this setting. The most common ones are a custom style that you've created or a monochrome, which will print all your lines in black. So before we actually print this drawing, I'm going to show you one more thing. So right here you have some page setup options. So if you've already printed a drawing and you want to print it with, with the exact same plot settings, you can go to previous plot. Or if you want to save your current drawings into a new file, you can hit add. And then name it whatever you want. So new setup. And it's going to save. So if you close this window, it's going to save it in this list for you to choose from later. Extremely helpful. Another really good thing about AutoCAD is it already has an AutoCAD DXF to PDF printer. So right at the bottom of this drop down, you're going to find TWG to PDF. This will allow you to save all your drawings to a PDF exactly as this preview button shows. So if I wanted this to become a PDF, all I would do right now is go to this print icon up here and hit plot and it'll save as a PDF. Otherwise, select your printer, then hit preview, and then OK. And you're going to get a beautiful drawing coming out of your printer. And don't forget, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.